Hey guys, it's Joel, aka The Daily Guru, and it's time to take another look back at this week in music history. To tell you the truth, this week was actually rather busy in the overall history of recorded music, so let's get right into it, going back all the way to 1961. It was on that day that the Supremes released their first single called I Want a Guy, and from that point on, both their sound and that of Motown Records became that of legend. Five years later, on that same day, March 9th of 1966, it was the day the Beach Boys were in the studio to record what is now their classic song, God Only Knows. Strangely enough, another nine years later, on that same exact day, Elvis Presley would enter the studio for his last sessions of his life. Ironically enough, it was this same week in 1956 that his first single was released. Another massively important event that happened this week was on March 13th of 1973. It was on that date that Pink Floyd released a little record called Dark Side of the Moon, and the world has never been the same. The 13th is also the date that in 1965, Eric Clapton formally quit as a part of the Yardbirds, and in 2004, it was the date of Pavarotti's final concert. On March 15th of 1945 was the day that the Billboard album sales charts were established, with the Nat King Cole trio occupying the inaugural first spot. It was March 16th of 1968 that Otis Redding got a posthumous number one hit single with his song, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay. And three years later, Simon and Garfunkel's Bridge Over Troubled Waters would win an amazing six Grammy Awards. Finally, it was March 16th, 1977 that A&M Records decided to sever their ties with a little band called the Sex Pistols due to what they called several embarrassing moments. So those are some of the highlights of this week in history. Make sure to check here every Thursday to find out what's happened this week in music history. <laughs>